Good Sunday morning. We begin with our brand new NBC News poll, which brings more warning signs for President Biden and his reelection campaign. One of our pollsters tells us we are looking at a, quote, presidency in peril. With the general election just nine months away, President Biden has declined on every measure since 2020, is struggling with key elements of his base, and now trails former President Donald Trump by wide margins on the issues voters say are most important to them. Joining me now to take us through the numbers is national political correspondent Steve Kornacki. Steve, these are some truly stunning numbers. They really are, Kristen. And let's just start with the bottom line. When you ask folks, hey, if it's the general election and it's Trump versus Biden in our poll, Donald Trump now leads Joe Biden by five points. Compare that to the last time we polled back in November. Trump was ahead then, but it was only by two points. And it's even more significant when you look at it this way. Over time, we have been testing for five mm. years now, going back to 2019, a Biden-Trump matchup. Remember, 2019, 2020, Joe Biden led. He led big in every single one of our polls. For the first time in November, Donald Trump pulled ahead in our poll, and now at five points, this is the biggest lead NBC has ever had in 16 polls for Donald Trump over Joe Biden. And, of course, undergirding all of this is this question of he is the incumbent, Joe Biden. We ask voters, what do you think of the job he's doing? And look at that, Kristen, 37 percent approve and now 60 percent disapprove. And we should say that is the lowest approval rating since former President George W. Bush's second term. Yeah, and it's put that in further context, too. Bush in his second term wasn't running for re-election. Yeah. Here's the presidents who were running for re-election in our poll starting their re-election year. What was their approval rating? Bush was over 50. He won. Obama was almost at 50. He won. Trump, four years ago, was 46. He lost. Look how low Biden's number is compared to those predecessors at this point. Their number's all much bigger than yeah. President Biden's. It, it, it shows you yeah. the improvement Biden has to make here yeah. in the coming months. Uh, the issues that are driving this, too, the economy, no surprise, we've been talking about it, but look at that advantage for Trump, 22 points. Wow. And securing the border here, folks, a very important Trump with a 35-point advantage. The economy is so striking, Steve, because... Jobs are up. Inflation is down. Voters aren't giving him credit for that, clearly. Yeah, there are a couple areas in here, I think, where Democrats see, see potential opportunities to grow Biden's support. Certainly, they are hoping the economy folks change their perceptions of it and start rewarding Biden for it. That's what they're hoping, certainly. How about this, though? Also mm -hmm. cautionary for the White House. Go back four years ago. It was two folks in their 70s running Biden versus Trump. And we asked then, do the candidates have the necessary physical, mental capacity? It was about even, 41, 38. Now, you ask it, 46 percent say that Donald Trump does just 23 percent when it comes to Joe Biden. And think of one of the central themes of Biden's campaign in 2020. He said he'd be competent. He said he'd be effective. Folks said they believed that in our poll in 2020. One of the big reasons Trump lost, but now complete, total reversal. 48% say Trump competent and effective. Barely a third mm. say that for Biden. That's right. He said he was going to bring stability back to the White House. And now he's the incumbent, and folks are maybe looking at him and maybe looking at Trump as not the incumbent in a different light here. Just a couple other things to get yeah. through. On the foreign policy, again, Israel, Hamas, center stage in the, you know, in the world uh, picture right now. Overall, big disapproval for Biden on foreign policy, particularly on Israel, Hamas. That's particularly acute among the youngest voters, mm. 18 to 34-year-olds. We have them tied, Trump versus Biden. And a lot of those Biden voters, 18 to 34, they say they don't like Biden. They just don't like Trump more. It's this type of erosion among these key groups that really worries Democrats. And it, it is the area, too, we say, where Democrats think there might be opportunity. They think they can get more young voters motivated to vote, maybe not by being for Biden, but by being against Trump. This is one area they think they can improve on and maybe make this race a little different. But the other one to key in on, too, independence. Trump, look at that, with a 19-point advantage. Also, keep in mind, that shows you a lot of independence look very open to potentially mm -hmm. another choice if something were to emerge. And also, among white voters, Trump with a big lead. Black voters, Biden with a big lead. But want to point this one out, Hispanic voters. Wow. Trump with a one-point advantage. We've been asking, would those gains he made four years ago stick? Our polls suggest they certainly have, and they've maybe grown. And we did ask this question, Kristen. If one of these cases this year ends in a conviction, a felony conviction for former President Trump, would that change your vote? 45% said in that scenario... They vote for Biden, 43% for Trump. This is also something the Biden campaign obviously hoping for, although 
It's a long history in polling of asking folks about hypotheticals <laughs> and them actually reacting a little differently when it actually happens. A little bit of a game changer, but still incredibly close. Very. Steve Kornacki, thank you so yeah. much. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.